Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. Hello guys, it's me here, Son of Beast, and me Phone 4. Welcome to the second game, as this is a part of the doubleheader of the night's game. Right now, it's 7 p.m., and right now we're about to be seeing the next part of the matchup. Cleveland Cavs and Boston Celtics are ready to do it again. Now, for this time, there might be one way to have a win to get into the finals. It may be the tough two, but you may never know that the Miami Heat have already destroyed the Boston Celtics. They are a good team, I'm going to tell you now. We could have a chance to see the Miami Heat win it all again. To have an underdog team, to win the whole thing. We've never seen only one game since the Knicks already already in the HC, and they were facing against the San Antonio Spurs. Because that was the last part of it here in 1995. Actually, the correct note is, this is a tough one that nobody has ever really just said it before. Because I really do not really think that it's not that necessary because of a... Uh, they really are trying to like keep it from here right from the right from the end of it. But they were sometimes a lot of it right now since 1999. That was the memorable playoffs that we're, me where we're only taking it from here. That was the part of the Knicks that made the finals. That's the only time in history. Okay. So that was a mistake here I got. But now, this is it. A win or go home for Cleveland Cavs. If they win again, then the Boston Celtics are, are going to take another game to do it back at Cleveland for a sixth game. Well, let's find out how this happens, because there is a lot much harder that everyone is keeping an eye on. 
Well, here we go. The commentary I will have now is the next one here. That will be Paintbrush, along with Nickel, and for the fur commentary crew, Fan. Well, let's just do it. See how this one goes. We're going to get ready and go for the liftoff. Enjoy the second game, guys. 2K Sports, welcome to the following presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. And, and this is where we all be begun in Game 5. Jason Tatum and the team of the cast. Be right back after this. Greetings, folks, here in Boston, and this is Game Five of the Celtics and Cavaliers. Hi right now, I'm me, Petras. I'm here with my broadcasting crew of Nickel and fans. Here we go, he's on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Darius Garland is drawing comparisons to another all-time Cavs point guard, four-time All-Star Mark Price. Now, Price said, "I do see it. I really like his game. And coming to the NBA so young now." All Darius has to do is stay, he's going to be a star for a long time. Well, if anyone would know Kevin, it would be him. Back to you. Exactly right. right to there. Thank you, David. It is about that time for Game 5, the matchup in between of Brown and Mitchell. Now, I'm really excited what this is going to happen. Donovan Mitchell, the veteran of Louisville, and Jason Tatum from, from the University of Duke. I was wondering if there's one way that we could try to like step them up. They're really that tough. Be effective, but no real. And for the staff, he was really even showing him what he could definitely just do for his own curriculum stances. He's not really that authentic, but hopefully he can try to keep it going. Ball is tipped and we are set to go in game five. Courtesy and Linus appear here fueled up by Gatorade, as right now, Smart Song Darius Garland. Tatum is on Isaac Akura. Evan Mobley on Al Horford. Allen, he's covered up by Robert Williams and Brown on Mitchell. Here's Brown. Oh, the foul was bumped out by Jared Allen. Oh, he did give a good help out there. That's a good sportsmanship. Thanks, Jared Allen. That's giving a good shake up a bit. Now for the free throw coming up here for Jalen Brown. He will try to take his first two to have the free throw line. Well, it's uncomfortable now because Jared Allen was trying to like keep him right over from the stride. He's not trying to like give him up the whole thing. He really wants to make that one a lot harder and complicated run. They got to get over this and get it done. The first free throw went off target. And you know about Jalen Brown, he's one of the biggest men and he was never able to see what he was coming through. And because of him, he was the demon. Because of his jaw, he was using his face mask here because of a for facial of, his, uh, of the nose that would have been damaged already. But he has to wear over the mask the whole time in each playoff game. How did that really happen? Well, it was tough to know, but he really didn't stay up and put. I don't know what to say about Jalen Brown, but it's not courtesy. I don't know what he might be going with, but that is a tough one to be on. And yeah, I have to agree. Jalen Brown is very tough. Be out there strong. You don't want to like to make a broken nose out of it here. He really is trying to like keep him out. Speaking of this, but now it's huge. Jalen Brown finds Marcus Mark. Smart gives the pass over to Horford and now Tatum on the outside. Tatum passes to the Brown for the quarter three. Three in the middle. Here's that first three pointer of the night and Tatum with the six. That turned out to be just again. He did. He wanted to get it all done. Here's Garland on Smart. Move around the man. The two pointer can't able to hit it off. Up and over the hedge. I think that was to deflect it by Robert Williams. I have to look at that. Maybe it might be Robert Williams. You may be right, but I don't know if it is. Here's Horford around Garland. Two quarter can't hit it to go. That's stolen by Mobley. Garland with the move around man. 
taken from the inside of the court. Over Smart. That rebound puts up for Marcus Smart. He has his first rebound of the night, and now with only 4.20 to go. 4.18 to go, and now finds Smart. In the offense side, finds Horford. Brewer on a slot. It's rejected by Evan Mobley. The green team still has a possession, but they wanted to get it tight and go fast they can. That was a great deflect on Robert Williams up and over the edge, over the backboard. Yeah, that, that was very tough. It was the right call. You know it. That was the reflection he had. Yeah, that's a great one to call it. I did look at the replay, and that is why Joe Robert Williams deflected all. Smart in the inside. Free for Tatum. The free pointer gets off the mark, and now Orford get back to Smart. Open wide angle for Tatum. It's good. Good pass by Orford. And that will be the first three pointer for Jason Tatum. The University of Duke really has to meet up each other. Good two by Allen. And a pass by Donovan Mitchell. They're really that tough. Now, I don't know what to tell you this. That was one way to get it down. And that was your mobile one drive for, for the Cavaliers. Now Smart will give it off to Horper. Leaves it off to Smart. Around the layup and good. The two-pointer keeps it right ahead. And now Mitchell will have it here. Try to keep up with the run inside. Garland on Smart finds Mitchell. Mitchell try to go right in the offense zone to go right in the attack over around Williams. It's good. The back stepper comes in for Donovan Mitchell. He has his first two points. 3 on 5 left to go, and it's stolen by Allen. Here's Mitchell for the finish. Deep pass. Dipped it off to Mobley. Try to leave it around the man, and slam down with two hands. Evan Mobley has that first bucket down. They wanted to keep that one head going. I don't think this may not be impossible enough but at all, but they had nowhere else to be good to, to protect it. Smart passes to Brown. Brown swings off to Smart. Smart over again to Alberford. Horford with a two. The fadeaway shot's no good, and Garland will have it rebounded. Keeping it alive out there with only two rebounds of a game. Garland back to Mobley. Gives it off to Okora. Okora and her team trying to fight back. For the two, layup no good. Brown give it up to Robert Williams. Reaching down under two minutes to go in the first period of the game. Nine and eight run, it's a close neck of the run. Over it again to Smart. Smart in the zone, around Allen. Good stop, but he puts it back in, and good. And they will have to call their first timeout for Cleveland. Now a minute and 50 to go in the first period. They are just going to get that thing started, by the way. They really say, you can't just like, give it over. And speaking of getting it over with, we've got some tickets here for your set. And you're about to be ready to head your way down to next month. That will be Gerald W. Lynch Theater Production. That's right, in New York. Yeah, that's right. You know I love the new location here in New York because it is that grand. It's like a big apple, like the Knicks are here. Well, you never noticed that point. I guess after this AB Media Center is finished, we might be saying that this one's going to be our next location to enjoy it. Yeah, definitely going to be exciting right now. Hopefully this is going to be a phenomenal game that we are going to get us started off. But I'm hoping there's one way that we can keep it right from here. If we're ready to find out what the cast could be, I think we're going to have it all ready. Yeah, definitely true enough. So make sure you are planning your timing, and your live stream will be on July 8th. So if you're ready, this means to you, get in there footage and meet your creators. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy it, folks. Now back to the game, as now we have some new substitution change. Here is Osman, Ricky Rubio, along with Karis LeVert, and Wade are checked in. The Celtics are doing a switch-up change as Derek White's checked in, along with McCollum Brogdon, 
and it's Mike Muscala and Grant Williams on the other side. Now Wade will give it up to Osmond. Osmond and Santana with only down to six in the shot clock. Trying to get a cut in play. Wait for three. He can't hit the three pointer this time. That's the first miss for three points for Wade. Williams gives a pass to Mike Muscala. Oh wow, he really did it that time. Well played for Mike Muscala. They're never saying it. This really has to be one of our tough feet. Tough enough to make a moment to go right from here. Now Levert on Brogdon with only one minute remaining. Pass back to Mobley and now Osman on Tata. Looks it over. Free for alert. Burke. And good. He got the first three-pointer down. They're down by two. Open passes are not always that unconventional. We're just like Miami Heat because they really go that hard. They have nowhere to protect. Tatum back again to White. Now up to Tatum. Over to come home, Brogdon, and now finds Williams. Around Wade, two, no good. Mobley with the rebound, and now finding Rubio. Rubio around Brogdon. Trying to pick up a rebound in here. 22 seconds left to go on the first. And their team will have it tied up on 13. Ricky Rubio with his first bucket of the night. And Tatum will have their answer here on the other side of the court. White with the ball in the corner. Williams to the wing. Now Vines brought in. Eight seconds on the shot. Game clock. Williams trying to get an answer. Free it over to Tatum. For the two. And the buzz beater can't make a connection out of it. That will end the first period for 13-13 of the run. They're tied up, looking for a lead in the second period. Keep an eye on that. They're going to get that thing tough and out of the way. Neither of those two can be tough. We'll be right back after this. You're watching the Eastern Conference Finals in 2K Sports. And we will be back here at TV Garden Arena, the start of the second quarter, where it's tied up now. Now, I know what they're saying. LeBron James and her team from Game 7 crushed it now. What did it really turn out for you guys? Well, to be honestly and clear, because they were saying that Cleveland Cavs are one of the biggest teams, including a special player of LeBron James, they were really saying that this was a very tough and offense run that they've really done it before. I don't know anybody that really does that. What they really care for is how they win. They really have made it tough to try to stop on them. Yeah, I agree with that because they were really trying to be a very close call on a range, but they know what they were going to do because they're really going to top any offense run. Jalen Brown trying to go backward. He's a creation, but he misses the two. Here's Garland. He will have it over on Sam Hauser. Looks toward the middle, and it's blocked away. Jared Allen takes it back. Now the team is up by two after rejection of Al Booker. Well, they're just trying to like, keep him out of here. They don't want that to get out of here. Hauser finds again to Brown. Brown speaks over again. I'll go for a goal for a three. Got it down! Backed up by one. And Al Horford has his first three pointer or not. Keep the range up there because Al Horford really has that when they're all settled down. That's what they're doing. They really are keeping it over. Just like the back-to-back -back switches. You don't know what's coming in there because they were really up to it now. Jared Allen on Williams. Step back for the two. And that fadeaway shot is good for Jared Allen. Their team is back up by one and they're heating it up a bit. Pritchard over to Williams. Now Brown back on the outside trying to look for a new place up set up. Looks it over. Now Hauser, six on the shot clock, finds Pritchard. For the two, Horford, layup, and foul by Mobley. That will be his first, and their first team foul on Cleveland with four eight to go. They're really that tough, and this is never really does happen because Evan Mobley was making a foul call right away with the tap, and they didn't really have a hesitation that much. That's going to give it up to a foul on the other end. First free throw for the Celtics are at the free throw line, shooting two. 
And Orford will decide to make that one a tie or make the lead. Free throw set in for Al Horford. He's one of the biggest men. You can't just say Al Horford, one of the biggest one. He played from Georgia. That was not really what everyone does say because he was a Dominican professional team. Because of that one, he really had it all. Hmm. If it was, that's not for him. It was from Florida. Because of his first Georgia spot location, it was the Atlanta Hawks that he had been drafted. But now, he refuses to be big enough and want to get to Boston Celtics. And then Philadelphia 76ers for one season. And in one season for the OKC Thunders. That was all he did turn out. Now for his team, his most career was definitely important. Goal over the lead. Got that one in timing and that will be the first three-pointer to keep it up. 20 and 18 is a score back-to-back -back switch with 3.45 remaining. Here's Hauser. He will give it back over again to Smart. Leaving right outside, and it's stolen by Smart by Garland. Crossover move back to Okora. Okora watching Jalen Brown. Screen on green. Garland outside. The freeze good. That's a two-pointer that keeps him over. And Isaac Okora with the assist. Not really at all at that point. But they really are trying to like leave him alone. Fade the shot, finding back over to Smart. Three or five left to remain. Hauser, for the three. Good! He made it back in timing. And he had it up with the first three pointer for Hauser. Hauser, is that really you can't just get rid of him? If it was there, you don't want to like spill that. They were really up to a point. Timeout call by Cleveland Cats with under three minutes to go. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. In a moment, that inspires. State Farm. Call and get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. Because of the recent play earlier, you, you remember that this one was happening to be the Heat and the Cavs. They really have been tough. But you call for Heat and Boston Celtics. They are the tough ones to try to like leave it over. And because the play makes you think it is, is out with the line, they have the unfinished business to try to like leave it open with the set. This lineup is very that tough. The offending rebounding is not really what they were seemingly to do. At this point, they gotta get it clear. Yeah, they really gotta get this over setting up with the score of it. They really can't like settle it down a bit. He really say it just can't get done. And when they don't have enough room, they can't leave it out. And they did not they don't have anybody leaving it behind. That is definitely hard when nobody saw it. Yeah, Garland almost lost the ball, but a smart one out of bounds. And right now Cavs still has the ball to remain. Now with so the new substitution as Garland's checked out. Now Karis LeVert will check in. Tatum's also check in also as well by Hauser. Here's Wade on Horford. 250 left to go. Okoro on Tatum to try to keep him out. The range in sight. Barzai! Good pass by Okoro! And Allen had that finishing guard. This one is very tough and absent thinking. They were really just trying to like keep it going. And that was a finishing mobile one drive for the Cavaliers. You're up by three. Now here's Brown. Brown passes to Williams. Right around the man slot. Takes it back. Now he will hand it over. And LeVert takes it over. Watching him on the siding, and he'll have to call for the reach. That foul calls on Jalen Brown, and now Rubio will check in for Donovan Mitchell. Cavaliers substitution, Ricky Rubio. Here's Allen. On the outside right now, 2.15 to go in this first half. The teardrop, oh, he did not want to do that this time. 
He really does say that. It looks like Jared Allen really may have that one a good pass. It's stolen by LeBert. And Okoro on the fast break finds Allen. Looks over to Okoro. Finds LeBert. LeBert staying out of here. Good play by Brown. And he got it right away. That's what they did. He has to be clean. Brown passes to Smart. Right now, here's Tatum. Around Isaac Okoro. Foul. Buckets off the loose chain. And right at the moment, they will keep it out of here. And the foul has been called on Cavaliers. Right now with a second team foul. Now with the free throw coming up is Jason Tatum. They were really saying that Jason Tatum is really the biggest man of the superstar actor, X-Factor player. They never seen him what they were going to get it done. And because of Jason Tatum, he really had it all downing. they got to get that done. Now the free throw lines up for Jason Tatum. It's the first free throw for Tatum. Now Okora checked out as City Osmond checked in. Coming up later will be the halftime show as right now Son of Beast and Mifo will be standing in by for the first half recap. It's a tough now to be honestly, but you may have never heard of what's going to be. And because of that one, same thing like the keep does. Don't get uncomfortable if you might find it. Well, nobody wants to do that because they really have nothing else to just do. Cleveland trail, Cleveland lead by three. Ricky Rubio and a foul been called on Marcus Smart. That's his first personal. Their first team foul has been called on Boston. Ricky Rubio at the free throw line shooting two. He's going to get an answer back. And you, can't, you just don't want to make that one an uncomfortable mistake. This offense is really trying to be up on the hook. The range inbound is not what they received. They don't have the right upset nation to be out there at their own timing. It's too much. But don't be on a lookout if you can't get up. First free throw. Lost the mark for Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio standing it out here. He really does that really well with the out Phoenix Suns. No, not the Phoenix. Or if it does look like the Phoenix Suns, that may be the one thing. But he didn't really want to do it again. He wanted to go back to the different team that he wants to do with the Cavs. They may have taken one. And a second free throw is missed. Here comes Smart, and finishes with a right-hand drive. Back down by one. And Jalen Brown with the assist. Here comes Rubio. Back to a one-and-one -one offense drive. Stolen by Robert Williams. Gives off to Brown. Here's a pass. Tatum for three. In and in and out. Down to one minute left to go in the first half of the period. Try to look it over. Now I want to go back over to C.D. Osmond. 50 seconds remaining in the first half of the period. Now for three, LeVert. No good. Now back to Smart on the offense side with under 40 seconds to go. Keeping it from the right out angle from LeVert and Smart. On a smart move, fighting Brown. He finds Robert Williams. Why to give it a screen to Robert Williams? Give it up to Williams. The deep feed. This shot right up again after Smart with the assist. Now they're back up by one. Now that's what they say. Can you make the dish off that easy? I want to see that. <laughs> that's what they were doing it. Yeah, before and after, you may never get it. Here's LeVert on Smart, on Jalen Brown. Over with the two. Rebound it, open the lead. Good D. And Jalen Brown will close the first half. Wow, it's a close call. 27 to 26. Well, at this moment, we'll be back with the second half, and we'll find out who will win here. Be back after this. It's a 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey guys, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Me and me phone standing by. It's the toughest game of the matchup, the marathon. Let's find out how it is. The Cavaliers already got a tie game on this run. It's a 13 run, but now the Celtics have the one point lead over Cleveland Cavs with a 27 to 26 lead. 
Let's start off with you, v -Fung, for the Celtics. Well, they're trying to get a lucky credit out the run, but they can't make a win over Miami Heat back in a regular season game. It really does happen to be much of a particular run that they are trying to leave it out. The market was impressed, but nobody really cared about if they really wanted to keep it out of here. Now for you, Zonis for Cavaliers. They are trying to move back into it now. I'm noticing this might be tough. Maybe they're going to have to keep it right into this. But in that case, we're not sure what's going to happen. Well, we'll see how this one goes. And now we'll wrap it up for the halftime show. Now I'll send you back to Paintbrush for the start of the second half. See you all later for the postgame show. Welcome back to T Garden Arena as the Celtics are in the lead one point. Now you call for Jared Allen. This is one of his professional play of his breath leeching skill. He was putting a lot of rebounding to put right from here. This offense rebound can definitely stand out for Jared Allen. He was able to do it a lot of his own career routine. He was professional, but you may never guess it if this was going to be a very hard one to the K. But Marseille, they want it done. Yeah, professionally, I wouldn't get that one. Oh, Donovan Mitchell had that one with the start. And this shot is really that impossible. But they're not really like trying to like lose them out. They wanted to do it at all the time. William will try to give it back to Brown. Leaving out with a three second violation. And Garland with the steal. Up of the alley oop. Oh, Brown says, not this time. Finds Horford around Mobley. He's projected off, and Mobley has a second block of the night. When they were saying it, we check it out of here. Right from the backboard, they don't have it. That's a great defense here. Got a lot of communication set up on this point. They really have to do it a lot of timing to get it done. Now with the setup of this call, they're just trying to leave it out. Tatum, fight again, did smart. With the finish drive, bumps it up, but a great stop by Evan Mooley. Evan Mooley has his fourth rebound of the night, and now we'll off to Mitchell. Rolls it in again, up by three, and assist that goes down. They're just trying to keep that scoring again. They wanted to do this. Smart. Finds again to Jalen Brown. Brown over again to Smart. Smart over again to Tatum and now finding over his Brown. Step back with a two. Now finds Tatum for three. Plays it up. That's a three-pointer made the second and third bucket of the night. They really can't just get it over this. You are gonna keep on going. Darius Garland finds a corner with 4.30 to go. Tied it up. Wow, Garland did not see what Smart was getting up to this. He lost that one. That's too early. Because he was not really turning out to be that right, he, he's almost gonna get foul called, and they are definitely gonna get away with it. Jalen Brown, Al Orford. Good two point range for the set score. And Brown with the assist. They're already been showing up. Al Orford, gotta be legendary. Okura, here on back again to Mitchell with four minutes remaining. Pass to Garland. In the middle range, finds out Evan Mobley. And a rebound will pick up for Al Horford. He has four rebounds, and now Jalen Brown. Back again to Horford. Horford pass again to Tatum. Now he wishes off to Williams. Trying to leave it out, and now Brown. Shoots over Mitchell. Terry Jeff Leonard can't get it over by. And it's stolen by Mobley. Mitchell getting back to its own offense run to pick up another scoring offense run. Fadeaway shot. Can't get it over to go, and it's Horford with his fifth and sixth rebound. Tatum almost tipped, but Williams still recovers it. Now Brown on the outside. Gives it back over to Smart. And Smart over to Garland. Another miss by Boston. 
Oh, they're starting to go badly. I don't know what the lucky luck says. All right! Back with up a two-hand dunk jam, and it's now a timeout call by Boston Celtics. They're back up by two, with 2.50 to go. Gonna need to get a little rest here, Nate. We're really gonna get this one back. As of right now, we're getting closer down to the end of the third period. We're looking for a prediction in between, between the two range of the NBA playoffs of 2K23. Now, I know what you're thinking. If there is one way that we are, might be showing it off, what's the setup gonna be? Well, what are you guys thinking? What's the prediction here for 2K23? Well, my prediction of this one is, I may have been seeing that the Cleveland Cavaliers have already been showing it off, but they were really been saying, it's gonna be very tough that nobody's ever gonna saw say that they're gonna get into this. They have nobody else to try to like keep in protection. But this range is just not the only sight. And this is nobody else's opinion. That goal has to be the right moment to do this one again. If this one's gonna be happening now, it's gonna be Celtics. Well, I definitely have an agreement with me on this player. It may be tough though, but I don't know if this will happen to be one timer. I'm gonna give off the Celtics and the other team, Denver Nuggets. These are the two I'm hoping for. Well, you guys are the only luck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to go with Nuggets and Celtics. All right, well, let's find out what your prediction is, because we're getting closer and closer. Now back on the run, here's White. He finds Pritchard. Pritchard swing it up to, to White, and now Halser on the outside. Now moves over to get to White. White finds Williams. Around Osman, foul the call on Osman. That's his first foul, and their first team foul. Not really showing it up like he was doing it. They can't get it over it. This offense can be a lot that hard, and they're trying to leave it out the painful look. This range up is a tough sight. Grant Williams at the free throw line shooting two. You're trying to get over it. First free throw settles in for Grant Williams. And on a new changeup coming in. Carol Burke and Ricky Rubio are checked in for Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Now with this one call, I guess we might be saying the real game might happen once more. The Heat and Nuggets. What's your prediction, guys? Well, I guess the prediction I want to see is get hyped. I think Nikola Jokic may do it again. I've never seen a team winning it so far, but I want to see them do it. And because they really done that again, it's going to be happening to save her life. But it may not be that quite, quite enough for that point. I don't know if B phone will take it, but it's going to be that rough. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe there might be one way I could definitely try to go with that. What's that? You know what I'm talking about? The, the, the Jimmy Butler? Oh yeah, Jimmy Butler, that's really definitely cool. I think this is what I'm not going for. I'm going for the Heat. Now here's Middle Richard on the outside with two minutes remaining. Here's Hauser back on the outside. All around green. Fade off of the shot and the finish is no good. Good stop by Danny Green and now he has it out with a good covering rebound. Move up with the two. The fadeaway shot is off target. Now back to White. Here comes Grant. And two hit slam. They're back down by two and they tied it up. They're mostly offensive because Grant Williams, they really showing off like they did. Yeah, I was predicting what they were saying. Here's a Burt on White. Finds on Green. Green passes to Osmond. Now Green back to Mobley. Mobley over to get over here. Two. No good. And he misses the two one outside. Now here's Williams. Passes over to Hauser. Shoots over Green. Good stop by Danny Green as he makes that one a stop. Being inbounding with the motion of the rebound. All alone for Osmond. Good outside. And just like Jimmy Butler's team, they have the extension back up by three. Richard right to Moscola. To finish the arc. That good stop by Evan Mobley. Here's Rubio. Ricky in and out. 
trying to go back to order two. Would the Rubio up? The rebound is up. And they put it back. They're back up by five, and Rubio didn't really notice that Mobley could do it. Well, that's what they were saying. They really had no more offensive trying to like keep out of range of the side. I know this is tough, but don't be offensive if you're gonna do this. White finds again to Williams. Williams around Eisman. Nice D by Buscola up, and two's good. Bear trying to get back into the answer run to pull it up. This angle is a tough one to try to like leave it over. And nobody really did care. Mobley all the corner of White, and the range of his own is back up again. 43 to 38. Now here's Mike Buscola over now to Hauser. Four seconds on the shot. Game clock. White for the base beater. White didn't even notice he was going to get that. Remember game six? Well, I guess you got the feeling with that. We are down by three. We'll can't believe it. We are down to the final quarter in the fifth game. We'll keep your eyes tuned here, and we'll be back after this. Fourth quarter, here we come. Let's do it. And a moment now to reveal your safe pharmacist of the game. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. The most of the part of it, it was a very uh, tough and consent. But you can definitely say that Donovan Mitchell over to Allen, that's what the pass is aggressive. There were really two. I know it was tough though, but we may not know what's going to happen. We've come down to the final quarter. I think we're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Now we start up here with the skatering fueling up as Smart's on Garland. That's Brockman. He's coming up on Donovan Mitchell. Mobley. He will have it over again to Al Wolfram. Then it's Jason Tatum on Isaac on Devin Wade. Right from the other side of it, we have this we have is another player again. As it goes right toward with another player on the offense run here to take another look. Brown here on Isaac Okoro. Then Wade on Tatum. Tatum around Wade. Oh Mobley, we check it again. That's really the toughest and the hardest one. Nobody cares about it. Smart misses the three. Mitchell back the air away. Looking for a ramp up lead. Garland trying to roll around it. Pass the moment and oh! <laughs> I don't know when you can definitely do that. And the moment just really say it, it was a powerful. We are not done. We want revenge. Here's Brogdon with the finish, and a two's off the ball. Donovan Mitchell receiving his first, and there are only under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. It's a 49-40 lead. Now looking for another run-up, here's Brogdon. McCall Brogdon missed the first free throw. Now the new substitutions comes in as Wade will be checking out and Allen will be checking in. Either of those guys can be really that tough and be honestly, Robert Williams is really trying to like sneak him out. He has to come with the team and Smart really has to cover him out for the last part of it. It's not what they really wanted to get. They've got to get some more help. And he missed the second free throw. McCall Brogdon is cold. I don't think he there really started. Well, he's not. And a foul will count the bucket for Jason Tatum. That's right now. It's a 50-40-10 lead for Cleveland. Isaiah Quero did really have a great run to make the stop from University of Auburn. He had it all to be on the best range of the highlight motions. This really has to be on its way. The most of it in the offensive drive is really that putting it crazy. This motion, I can't blame you. And a two is made that with it. Time out for myself takes a 4.47 to go. Oh man, oh man, I'm gonna say 
You know what my prediction is? I'm going to say that it's going to be game six. That looks like they're not really ready to go into this one. Well, I've been a tough one out here tonight. And I may never really notice of what's going to happen now. They just can't get rid of it. As right now, as I make a predi prediction here, I'm going to tell you that I am rooting for Miami Heat to win the finals this year of the 2023 NBA Finals. You know why? Because Butler, he's the best. All eyes for you, Jimmy Butler. And I am going to give that one a credit for him. Well, let's see how well what the judges say. It may be a tough one I can go for. Yeah, I'm going for Miami Heat. I like to say and see them win. Now with a new substitution changing up here with only 4.47 to go of the, in the center of the guard and now reporter for David Aldrich. They really say that they can't really prepare it because he said it's the report. They really are on to offense. We had it all. But he when he grows up for playing of one of his moment of time at Jason Tatum from the University of Duke and the other player here from Florida, it may be a tough one. To be a dynamic duo that possible that he has to go for. Well, it's not what they were saying to me because they were really were trying to get up. It's a lot of hard try. How can you feel that? That was a great play here for the for the tip player of a home ground hit. 4.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Darius Garland trying to seek out the revenge. Mitchell outside, good. Has the three-pointer right in the outside of the low zone. And now here's Brown back to the Horford. Horford with the finish move. Oh, Mobley! He had five blocks in a row. And a foul's been called on the Cole Brown game. And he didn't get the right choice out there because they say it's too tough. Well, nobody really had that all. And I guess the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to get it done. Now for free throws coming up, Darius Garland at the free throw line. Really wanted to see how this does. If it doesn't really help for them, they're going to get it done. And you know why their team? Because Cleveland Cavs are a rock. They've done it here in 2018 for the NBA Western Eastern Conference Finals. That was the last one here in Game 7. And that was why... They have to do this. Free throw makes it in for Darius Garland. And you can't just really say that Darius Garland was the biggest man after Colin Sexton was left the team since 2019 of 20, 2018 and 19 season. It didn't really help them all. It was too bad, but don't worry, Darius Garland can save the day. He missed the second free throw, and now back over to Tatum to Wolford. Brown in the corner. Wow, he was ready. And he was a fire alarm to make that one to go with a three-pointer switch down. And making a Jalen Brown, you have to believe him. Garland back over again to Coral. Now we go over again to Garland on the outside on Brockman. Free free to go. Allen on Williams. Try to make a move out in front of it, and Mitchell for two, missed again. The goal brought him back to work for it, to finish it. No foul called on Cleveland. Okoro right on the other side, and he calls for offensive foul. That goes to Isaac Okoro. What a play move, and a smart one for Jason Tatum. Oh, wow. That's going to be a lot of defensive on a shovel, and I don't need to know this. Jason Tatum and her team can just say it's an obvious run to be on a chain and look. Brogdon finding again a Horford on the outside, now looking over in the inside. Tatum finding over Jalen Brown. 5-9 in the shot clock. Finding Tatum. For the three! He misses again with only 2.50 to go. They're down by 10. He finds a coral down deep. In the corner now, Tatum watching him. Screen on Allen. With a two, and he's fouled. Robert Williams has his first and a 13 foul for Boston. While everybody's in the flight ball run, because I see the coral really has to do this one on his own. It's not what they were doing it for. 
well, I bet I would this would have happened. It's not what they really wanted to get this time. Besides, no one has the right choice to do it again. Free throws coming up for Isaac Okora with only 234 left to go. First free throw set in for Gary's for Isaac Okora. For the next part of this episode, if it's already out, you may watch it. If you don't keep watch it, you have to check it out. The new episode is about to be releasing here, right on the line. Before the end of the 2022-23 season of new episodes. And then we will get into 2023 to 2024 of the new episodes to finish off the year strong. Not ahead of the most unit is really that far, obviously, but I can't just really say what they can definitely do. Plus, we can't forget about the tomorrow matchups game, as right now, Kraken are facing against the Avalanche in Game 4. How, is your, how will your take be out there, there, guys? Thanks, Pay Fresh. And I was saying it before, there might be one way that the Kraken can try to win it again. They are so good, this offense can try to like keep it from attacking. And from coming in again, they really wanted to do that one once more to have it all done. I would love to see how, how the Kraken can win again to try to pick up the scores. And let's find out that this will happen again. Back to you all. Alright, thank you very much. Well, let's see. Kraken, here we go again. Well, Kraken can be out that time point. I'll say Avalanche. I've never seen what's going on like that. Let's find out how they can do it. Now we present your New Balance Player of the Game. In Game 5 of the right, we do it again. Darius Garland. Darius Garland really had that couple on the move. You may never notice how well he was doing. That's the pass, and he was given out there right away at an instant showdown. That was nobody that really had maintained. That's because they really did, they have it all. Now here's Brogdon, over to Brown. Gives a pass back to Robert Williams, and now Tatum with the two. Range down for Williams. Good tap, and a making two for the drive, and Tatum with the assist. Well, it must be turning out there. Very showing off, I think, then. Mitchell, trying to keep it out of here, and Allen on the outside. Watching in the inside, Isaac Okoro finds Mitchell for three. It's off again. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Looking for a tip. Harper for the three. Missed again. Tatum trying to recover it. Good. Now back bound down by seven. They're trying to get back in the game. Hmm. I was wondering what they could do. Here's Allen. Good stop by. Good stop by Robert Williams. And now here's Tatum. Tatum passes to Brown. And now finds Tatum. Down to 90 seconds. Around the coral. Bring it out. Missed it again. McCall Brockett trying to attempt to steal it, and he's fouled. Kevin Mobley receiving his number of potential foul, and it's not going to be happy enough at all. Well, they're all into it now. They can't do it. Now the Celtics will have to call timeout with a new change up here with the offense to give up a number one. We'll be taking a quick break here, but this is coming to be a big one for Tatum tonight. Looking for it again. Oh yeah. Down you go. You get it done. The game of the NBA West Eastern Conference Finals is brought to you by your local key dealers. A moment that spikes. Mountain Dew. Dew to do. And finally, by Ruffles. Official chip of the NBA. But we have to call from here after the foul has been already given by Jason Tatum. He was never going to get that one right away. Because he was already been showing up like he never really did it before. And they were really up to a hard timing. Well, it's not very not easy at all. 
because you can't just really think about what they were going to get there. They had nowhere to write, nowhere to put it, and they were off to a bounding to make that off leg run. They have no other choices to get right into this. They've got to get it done. Al Horford funny again, and now finding Brown. Smart, twice for the three. No. He missed the three-pointer, and now here's Mitchell. Trying to help their team to get up to a scrimmage. And the alley -oop successful! Wow, this is amazing, guys. They say Cavaliers are not done yet. Well, they're really saying that they're wanting to do it again. This revenge successful plan is going to start getting it over and under. With Darius Garland now has it more time to give it. Trying to attempt to steal it. Free for our core. And it misses out. They're going to get back into this one. Mark up again. That three-pointer got it. They are down by five. But their team's like coming back. But the foul's been called by Marcus Smart. They have one team to give it a foul. But now they're done. Now Darius Garland at the free throw line shooting two. Not really what everybody's saying. If you don't have it right, you're going to get it done. He got him beaten. Now with this one call, I never really saw what was going to happen like that. Because you know, Cleveland Cavs are coming back. They wanted to do it again. The free throw's good for Darius Garland. Now Tatum will give it up to Smart. Smart with the move, layup, good, too. Try to watch it from here, and the foul will be tipped off on Jalen Brown with 18 seconds to go. Now Donovan Mitchell's turn to take the free throw line. Shooting for Cleveland, Donovan Mitchell taking two shots. Gets the first, and now one more to carry. Donovan Mitchell always really got to get that with a star. Veteran of Louisville University. Hits the second free throw. Trying to leave it off with the two with the range and I'm out of sight. Smart for the three. And he misses. And so the Cavaliers will take the road trip win in game five. 64 to 57 is your final score. They are down with another good gaming win. That will be it. The Cavaliers extension comes back down with a 3-2 in the series. They're trying to get it done with the right moment, but they don't have the right moment to try to like stop them. They can't get over us. Well, as we said right now, paintbrush along with Nickel and Fan. This has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals of the NBA. Thanks for joining with us, and peace out, folks, for a while, for another game. I'm out of here. Good night, I'm Lee Green and Cleveland Rock. All right, guys, thank you very much. As right now, the disappointment run turned to be a Game 5 loss for the Boston Celtics. Cavaliers are back into this now with a, with a starting of their win. Here back again in the road trip. Really turned out like they did. Well, it's tough though, because everybody just did say they wanted to do it once again. Nobody does it, nobody gives up. Now, with the points, here's how they did with the field goals. They had no other range to keep it from here. 53% field goals for Cleveland, along with 50 points, 50 percentage free pointers for Boston. Then, 69 free throws for Cleveland. Then along with the fast break points for 12, 30 for Cleveland Cavs, and then it was 10 second chance points for Cleveland. For Boston Celtics, bench points was 15 for the 1, and 19 assists was going great. Offensive rebounds was 14, and 18 defensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavs. 7 steals, 4 blocks, 4 turnovers, and four, 6 points off, 5 team fouls, 8 dunks, 13 biggest lead for the Cleveland Cavs. And 12.49 was their time of possession for Boston Celtics. So now it's time to close it up for three star players of the game in Game 5. Well, I guess there's one way to get this one off. An opportunity run to be on the changing of their gaming. Let's start with you, Demi Fun. You take first.
All right, I'll start it up. Let's take a look at what they did here. For the start at number three, here we have a crosser here. We've got great words to make that one go. Jason Tatum, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 23 performance run, 3 out of 9 field goals, and 3 out of 6 three-pointers. And on the other side, let's take it from you, Santa Beast. 10 rebounds was printed up for Evan Mobley with 13 points, and he only had 6 out of 7 field goals, and take 4 incredible blocking angles. That's his number on the back, or the front of a jersey. You can definitely spot it on. Two dunks performed, and 13 performance run was the last one to keep the successful in range. And that was a legend that he does. Now for number one. Well, number one player is Jared Allen. He has 14 points, six rebounds, one assist, and a steal. Four dunks were performed. Seven out of 11 field goals. Only had turned right away. So that will do here for the end of the Game 5 of the Eastern Conference. Stay tuned for tomorrow's game. We have a probable matchup between the range of hockey of an Avalanche and a Kraken. Back to Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro. But this next game will be changing between by the two that we are going to do it again. The Nuggets and Lakers. Winner go home for Los Angeles. There might be one way to keep those out on the carry. While this inbounding, it may be tough. Everybody can give it a call. Nobody just, not just them. Don't be on, on aggression if you can't just make it that far. And for that being reasons, it's tough though when you count it. Anyway, thanks for joining with us. Peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. This is Son of Beast along with Me Phone 4. We wish you all a wonderful night and a pride week. Until next time, folks. Bye bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.